No Film School's NAB 2022 coverage is brought to you by Blackmagic Design and Creative Solutions, which consists of small HD, Teradeck, and wooden camera. And Atomos. So hi, I'm uh, here with Phil Watton of Atomos. Phil, what can you tell us about your live production stuff that you guys have got going on? So the idea of the live production is to, is to put all of the stuff that would traditionally be used for a live broadcast in the cloud to get it out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, our idea is that what we want to do is enable people to be creative and have ideas and be passionate about their show, not worrying about why it doesn't work. Because a lot of the time, you know, you're worrying about something's not working somewhere. So what we're trying to do is get rid of all of that and make it just a seamless end-to-end -end thing. You, you hit start, it spins everything up in the cloud, you get your connected device, whether that's a, a Ninja, uh, Ninja uh, the Atomos Connect or the Shogun Connect, connect connect them to the cloud is a very easy way of connecting. We have a bespoke protocol that gets us there really, really quickly. We're talking about a frame of latency between um, one end and the other. Uh, the whole system latency is a little bit longer because there's a little bit of compression in the, in, in the cloud, but the protocol will get into end in about a frame, which means it feels local. Mm -hmm. It's like you're sitting there in maybe a truck or in a studio or something like that, but you're not. Mm -hmm. you're just, you've just got a control panel, mm -hmm. which you're already familiar with. Mm -hmm. The idea is to make this as seamless and as easy as, as possible for somebody to do it. I don't want to have a barrier in the way. I want them to sort of think it and then be able to make it. And I think that is really important. And the idea really is to sort of democratize the live production, get it out of the realms of just the big broadcasters who can afford it, mm -hmm. and put it in the realms of everybody who wants to be able to do it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I can remember like going into a live production and having this truck and like, and it was, it was like almost every shot or every setup, we'd have to turn back to the guys and be like, did it work? And, uh, you know, as an independent filmmaker, you, you know, they're, and they've got their arms folded like, you know, why don't you get it the nicer XP 5000, you know, and, and it's just like, ah, like that 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 feeling is, is uh, for creatives, it's it's death. Um, it, it, it is very difficult. And yeah, that's, that, that's it. We're, we're trying to just get rid of the barriers mm -hmm. uh, to, to just make it easy. And, you know, one of the things is it's difficult enough, you know, writing the narrative and, and, and doing that to make the show. Show, you don't want to be constrained by the fact that you, you, you can't get a picture out the door. Right. So that, that's really the thing. And, and you know, if you take one of the connected devices, it's very easy to connect. You don't have to do anything complicated. There's no IP addresses or mucking around with that. You don't have to muck around with servers or anything like that. You literally click a button, type in a little ID, and it, and it just connects, and then that's it. It's in your show. And then you've got your show there. And you can you can preload all your assets. If you're doing a show every week, mm -hmm. just push that button at the mm -hmm. beginning of the mm -hmm. show, just goes up, or every day, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. and it can just happen. And, and, and do multiple devices feed into the same batch of content, or how does that work? Yeah, so you can have a number of cameras going in, the VT packages, graphics, we use HTML5 graphics actually, mm -hmm. and um, so that, that all comes into the one show. You can then remotely, because it's all in the cloud, everything by its very nature is remote, so you can then remotely control it. You could be in the same room, in the next room, you could be across the other side of the world, it doesn't matter, you can have four cameras mm -hmm. in one place, mm -hmm. they will all be in sync. Atomos has a really nice sync system, which means everything is frame accurately in sync. So you don't, I mean, you can't do a multi-camera shoot live if mm -hmm. one of the cameras is like three seconds out from the other. <laughs> That's just not gonna work. So the idea is you have, um, all the cameras are in sync, very low latency, so you can talk to the camera operators, plug a set of headphones in the side of the, the, the Ninja or the Shogun, you'll get a set of headphones, you're talking to the director, full talkback matrix in there. Mm -hmm. You can then talk to the presenters, they can wear our IFBs, we use iPhones and things like that to mm -hmm. give you uh, talkback apps, uh, so you can basically just chuck a phone in your pocket, oh, and that's you your talkback system. It's a whole integrated system. You already know how to use it mm -hmm. because you've already used your iPads and your iPhones and stuff for other stuff. It's really easy to do that. Mm -hmm. And it really gives people that sort of the feeling of comfort of using something already. Because you, you know, you go into a truck, it's like, I'm gonna stand in the corner and worry, because right. I don't want to touch anything in case it breaks. Yeah. But you know, you can now really sort of, you can play around and get in it and, and really make your content. You, you just have to think about what your audience wants to see yeah. rather than you might break something. Yeah, well, I mean, creatively, I think we have all these big ideas, and for so long we've been constrained by the technology and by wires, frankly, and now that we're, we're wireless, yeah. it's like, the tech is catching up to our ideas to be able to, oh, we're in the middle of the desert. Let's just shoot. Like, as long as we have an uplink, we can go. Yeah, yeah. That feeling of, of freedom, that creative improvisational thing that, that live brings about. What made you say, we have to develop stuff for this? Well, for the very reason that I've just described, actually, I mean, it really, it was getting a real pain to try and do a live show and then spend weeks worrying about gear and moving large trucks of stuff around. and. It's just, it's just annoying, and it, it, that just stifles it. And the amount you cut out is, um, is due to the fact that you can and can't do it, rather than the fact that 
you don't want to do it. Right. So we wanted to make it, I, I, I personally wanted to get out of bed, go, I'm gonna do a live show today, pick up a box with ninjas, run over there and do a live show. That's what I wanted to do. And we can now do that. Beautiful. I'm really happy that we can do it. <laughs> yes. It really excites me and uh, you know, I'm just going to go make load large shows. Okay, okay. There we go. Well, we want to we want to see this gear. What what should we look at first? From the is it the Connect products? Is it like walk me through the path of an independent filmmaker being like, you know what? I'm I've done everything back to tape. I've done everything back to cards. Now I want to go live. Like, yeah. What's my well, stair step into this? I mean, this? the great thing is if you've got so say for example you've got an inch now, mm -hmm. you buy the Connect product on the mm -hmm. back. It takes your existing thing and now you've got a live source. You go. So you don't really have to do anything else. You've got the same camera, mm -hmm. it, it's just gonna work. And mm -hmm. I think that's amazing. Well, that, that's, that makes me really excited. Mm -hmm. I personally like the Shogun Connects, a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. I just happen to like that. Mm -hmm. And I th I'm really excited about just picking that up and plugging it in to do a live thing, or then maybe tomorrow I'll go and do a bit of single camera stuff. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I just love the fact that this one thing right. can do everything I want. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you then start with that, that's your head end, mm -hmm. and then everything's in the cloud, mm -hmm. and then you just need a way of you know, looking at it or what you want. You can use an Apple TV to view it if you like. So you've got a multi-view mm -hmm. in, in, on a nice big telly if you want. Or you can use an iPad to control it. There are, you can use MIDI panels to, mm -hmm. to get if you really want oh, real you buttons. Mm -hmm. You know, some people love real buttons, some mm -hmm. people don't. Mm -hmm. And I think those kind of things just make it as as nice as it can be for you, the mm -hmm. user. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people are sitting there with nice comfortable chairs and nice big panels and nice monitors around. And other people are just whipping their iPad out on the side of a, you know, Costa table, just getting <laughs> with it. And it's that kind of, that kind of thing that I think just gives that flexibility. It's the same thing, you can just use it however you want to use it. Oh, great, yeah, I can't wait to. So there's one more animal weapon. Okay, yeah, I, no, I was gonna say, I can't wait to, just like, you know, that the takeaway shows on YouTube, like, like, just your, your buddy's ban and like turn that into a live broadcast uh, right from the garage or something like that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. totally. I mean, there's no reason why you don't, you know, get a few mates around in, in your living room, just get a couple of cameras and cut a live show. Yeah, there and you go. It's, that is just amazing. And, and the, one of the interesting things is, you know, we've been working with big broadcasters and this goes out on terrestrial. Yeah. So it means you can literally sit in your lounge and use the same stuff that, you, that goes to terrestrial in your lounge. There we go. There we go. We can't wait to see it. Right, so what we're looking at here is just uh, the standard production thing. It looks a bit like a switcher. That's because it is a switcher, but he does a lot more. As, as you can see, I'm cutting around here on this panel. I don't have to cut on a MIDI panel. I can just cut straight on the uh, on the screen. It doesn't really matter. It's however you want to use it. And the thing to note here, this, this is running in California, which is not next door, right? So all of this is being processed in the cloud. As soon as I cut, what happens is I send the message to the data center. It then cuts it, packages it, renders it, sends it back again. It's that quick. Wow. That is how, that is the latency of the system. It's really, really quick. Now, what this means is you can now run this as a, it feels local, so it's like it's sitting here, but everything can be disturbed, uh, everything can be remote. So I've got two systems running here, as you can see, they're both mirroring each other. They're both independently connected to the cloud. This could be here, or it could be in London. Don't matter where it is, it'll still work exactly at the same time. I have a talkback system, which I can talk between them. If I do, that's gonna howl around actually, so I won't do that. But uh, a full talkback matrix in there so I can talk. So I can you know, do normal sort of switchy, mixy things. So you know, just the standard sort of stuff I can do. I've got sound, uh, I've got set of DCAs, which, are, uh, which is designed to try and make this as easy as, it, as easy as possible for one person to drive it. But you can uh, bring it out to other people. So I can sort of sit here and operate a sound desk if I like, or I can just uh, actually nobody's talking at the moment, but um, or we can uh, uh, just run it as one single person using one device. We have things like uh, VT packages, so I can run a, run a VT package. I'll just get that one back to the beginning. Cue that one up. I've got a little wipe in here, actually. If I hit auto, it'll run a wipe and just runs the package there like that. Uh, I've got graphics, which are HTML5 graphics. That's just an overlay over the top there. It's full out for channeling it, so it'll just composite that live. All the tally lights and stuff are built in. The tally lights will um, connect to uh, the devices. So say, for example, on here, I can plug in a set of headphones. Mm -hmm. As a director, I can now talk to my camera operators. The camera operators know when they're live because mm -hmm. the tally lights come on, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I can also take my iPhone out. Uh, we'll see if this is going to work. So this is using the Mavis Pro camera app, actually, which is uh, available free for NAB if anyone wants it. I get it now because you get all the features free and um, uh, then when we do any updates, you won't have to pay for them, which is great. So if I start ch uh, trying to connect here, now there we go, my iPhone is just basically straight into this show, just here. This is going up to the cloud independently. If you have an iPhone, an iPad, you just straight in, you got some of these, you just straight in. So it's really, really easy. And this is it, this is all you need. You don't need anything else. There's no secret rack of gear under the cupboard or anything like that. It just works and I think this is going to make live accessible to everyone. Oh, what beautiful, man. That looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. 
So you can remote monitor, and, and as you can see, I'm just cutting around here, and you can see it on the remote monitor. So you can remote monitor from anywhere in the world. Your producers could be literally across the other side of the planet con contributing to your show uh, in a way that you, it would be almost impossible to do before. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we go. Uh, Phil, we talked about the Connect, we talked about Live. How does this work with the Ninja? So, if you've got a Ninja, then around the back we have the new module, which is the Atomos Connect. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, the network connection on it, it's got Wi Fi arrows on it, it's got the time code uh, sync system in it. This fits on the standard Ninja, you just clip it on the back, and now it gives you all that extra functionality. So, all that stuff that we've been talking about, uh, you just plug it on. This now enables this device to be a completely connected device. So you can do the capture to cloud stuff very easily. You can do the live stuff very easily. You can even stream direct to YouTube if you want, just from this device, which I think is quite a magical product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's amazing. Yeah. And we'll, oh, it, and 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 the Shogun, which is the big brother to the Ninja, all that is built in, or correct. So just round here, if you want to come and have a look, we okay. have the Shogun. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. No, 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 yeah, I, I just wanted to cover I appreciate yeah. you doing this to edit. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so we just we just saw the, the Ninja with the Connect module. Does this work on the Shogun? Yeah, so this is this is the Shogun Connect. So it's all built in in the Shogun. Same stuff, look, so we've got the time code, uh, sync, uh, uh, aerials, got the, the, the Wi Fi aerials. We've also got the, the network going in there. And this is now a complete integrated product. This is really nice. It's a new design, it's really sexy. I mean, Personally, I, I want these. Mm, this yeah. is the one I like. I like this one. This is my favorite. Um, I mean, I've got a Ninja, so I can put that on the back of that. But I think, actually, personally, I'm going to get these. Yeah. Uh, but this this is my favorite one. And, you know, I can look. It's a nice, bright screen. It's a 2,000 nit screen. Gives me a really nice image. And it just gives me that confidence to know that what I'm shooting is right and what's going out to people who are watching this is, is right. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, the Shogun has been such a powerful tool for independent filmmakers, the brightness, the recording capabilities. Exactly. Now you're adding the, the digital kind of yeah. streaming stuff. Um, wonderful product. What do you want to see somebody shoot on this? Oh, I'm, one I'm really excited about actually is more people shooting, making more stuff. I want people to be able to get more creative. I want somebody who has always dreamed to be able to do it to now go out and do it. That's what I want, because I think that's what we're doing. We're enabling people to get out there and make stuff. And I think that's really exciting. 100%, thank you so much, Phil. Thank you. All right.